We can see the clouds coming in. When will we see the strongest chance of storms? Here's meteorologist Dominus Brown in the Storm Track 12 Weather Center with more. Dominus? Hey, Katie, as we continue moving through the afternoon, we have the possibility of some strong weather that could be severe with damaging winds as the primary threat. Here's Storm Track 12 Live Doppler as some of the rainfall is beginning to fill in portions of the viewing area. Some of the heaviest showers that we've been seeing are mainly over Carteret County, uh, moving over Moorhead City and Beaufort, moving to the north and east towards the down east areas. You can expect some gusty winds between 30 and 40 miles an hour with some of this activity as it moves to the north and east. Here we go with Pamlico County. We have some uh, moderate showers over Oriental at this point, some lighter activity for Bayboro and also for New Bern at this point. But for Vanceboro, we're seeing a few of those heavier showers, especially near Wilson, but just a shield of some green color here, meaning that we've got some lighter activity with some of the rain. But as we take a look at it in a broad scale here, we've got some showers that are beginning to move into Wilmington and that will move northeast over Onslow County as well. And I'm also tracking these showers and storms into South Carolina. There are severe thunderstorm warnings in effect for portions of the area south of us, southwest of us, and these showers and storms will continue moving our way. There is a slight risk for severe weather uh, thanks to the Storm Prediction Center. They've uh, been taking a look at this over the course of the morning and the afternoon. Damaging winds, that's the primary threat. Can't rule out the possibility of an isolated tornado, but not looking at an outbreak of severe weather like we saw in April. We'll track it with Storm Track to a future cast in just a minute. Thank you, Dominus.